Hello friends, this is Priyanka. In this video, we are going to solve six numerical questions on the topic wind energy. So, in this video, we are going to solve the numericals on first power density, then second beds limit, third power in wind, fourth extractable power from wind that is P available, five coefficient of power. So, I will first read what is the first question. So, first question is calculate the power density of wind for velocity of the wind 8 meter per second. So, this was the given question. So, how to solve it? So, if we observe what is the given data, the given data is the velocity of the wind is given that is 8 meter per second. So, what is the density? So, we first have to find out the density. So, we will take here the density rho is equal to 1.25 kilogram per meter cube. So, for this density, so this data we have to know. So, this is the density of the air. So, what is the power density of wind? So, what is the meaning of this power density? So, for this density we have to find out the power per unit area that means we have to find out this power density the unit should be watt per meter square so what is the power of the wind so power of the wind is equal to half rho a v cube and per unit area that means we have to divide this by a so if we observe here a a is getting cancelled so what is the remaining that is half into rho into v cube so we will put the value that is half into rho that is 1.25 into v cube that is velocity cube that is 8 cube. So what is the answer? So if we solve this we will get the answer 320 and what is the unit power for watt and this area that is watt per meter square. So this is the answer of first question. Now we will move for the second question which is based on the bed's limit. So first I will read what is the given question. Calculate the bed's limit for a horizontal axis wind turbine whose blade sweep a circular area with a diameter of 80 meter and for upstream wind speed of Vi is equal to 12 meter per second. So this was the given question. So let us first understand what is the given data and which factors we have to find out. So, if we observe circular area diameter of blade sweeping is given. So, this is 80 meter and wind speed is also given 12 meter per second and we have to find out what is the bed's limit. So, what is this bed's limit? Bed's limit is nothing but the maximum power. So, how to find out this maximum power? So, this maximum power that can be converted from wind energy to mechanical energy with the help of the wind turbine. So, how to find out maximum power that is P max is equal to. So, this is the formula 8 by 27 GC rho A V I Q. So, what is this GC? GC is the conversion factor and which is equal to 1 kilogram. Then rho is the density of the air. So, what is the density of air that we should know this value? Rho is equal to 1.25 kilogram per meter cube. Now, we have to find out the area. So, if we observe the circular area diameter that is as the blades are rotating, the diameter for that circular area is given. So, for that circular area, what is the area that is pi by 4 d square? So, now we will put here the value pi by 4 into d square that is 80 square. So, we can directly calculate this. So, first we will take this 80 square multiplied by now pi. So, here shift and this bottom button if we take directly we will get here the pi. So, this pi we can directly take in the calculation divided by 4. 
सो ही आर द एंसर इज फाइव जीरो टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव सो वी कैन डायरेक्टली टेक हि द वैल्यू एज दिस ए सो नाउ आई विल टेक हि पी मैक्स इज इक्वल टू एट बाय ट्वेंटी सेवन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय जो दैट इज वन पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फाइव जीरो टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वी आई क्यूब दैट इज दिस स्पीड दैट इज ट्वेल्व मीटर क्यूब सो हियर वी हैव टू टेक नाउ आई विल कंटिन्यू द कैलक्युलेशन here 12 meter cube we have to take multiplied by 8 and divided by 27 so here is the answer that is 3 2 i will write here 321699.8 so this is the answer and the unit is watt so now this watt we can convert it into the megawatt so we have to take here this we have to transfer this point to the sixth digit to the left hand side so it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 that is 3.2 megawatt so this is the answer that is this is the maximum power and this is also called as the bed's limit now we will move for the third question in which we have to calculate what is the power extracted from the rotor so first i will read what is the given problem blade length l 52 meter wind speed v 12 meter per second air density rho 1.23 kg per meter cube power coefficient cp 0.4 what is the power converted from wind into rotational energy so this was the given question so let us first understand what is the given data so here if we observe the blade length l is given 52 meter wind speed v 12 meter per second air density rho 1.23 kg per meter cube and power coefficient cp 0.4 and what we have to find out we have to find out what is the power converted from wind into rotational energy that means what is the power extracted from the rotor so for this we will use the formula that is p available so what is the p available that is half into rho a v cube cp so if we observe we have to first find out what is the area a and here the blade length l is given so when the blade is getting rotated for this total blade length we will consider here there is a radius r for that circular area so here l is equal to r is equal to 52 meter so what is the formula that is pi into r square that is pi into 52 square so here the answer is 8495 and the unit is meter square so we can directly take this a in this calculation so half into rho rho that is 1.23 into area 8495 multiplied by velocity cube that is 12 cube multiplied by cp that is 0.4 so when we calculate this we will get the answer 3611122.5 and its unit will be watt so we can convert this watt into megawatt so we have to transfer this point to the six digit here to the left hand side 1 2 3 4 5 6 that is here which is equal to 3.6 megawatt and this is the p available or we can say this is the power extracted from the rotor now we will move for the fourth question for the calculation of coefficient of power so first i will read what is the given question a 50 kw wind turbine operates at peak efficiency when wind blows at 26 miles per hour at this rate it reaches 62% of the bed's limit what is the coefficient of power for this wind turbine so this was the given question so let us first understand what is the given data so the wind turbine of capacity 50 kw and the wind velocity 26 miles per hour and for this velocity what is the peak efficiency so peak efficiency of this turbine is equal to 62% of the bed's limit and that is given and we have to find out what is the coefficient of power so what is the bed's limit so we know that bed's limit bed's limit is the maximum power so we can say here 
पीक इफिशियंसी व्हिच इज इक्वल टू जी सिक्स्टी टू पर्सेंट दॅट इज झिरो पॉईंट सिक्स्टी टू ऑफ पी मॅक्स सो पी मॅक्स इज द बेट लिमिट अँड वी हॅव टू फाइंड आउट व्हॉट इज द कोइफिशंट ऑफ पॉवर सो दिस कोइफिशंट ऑफ पॉवर इज ऑल्सो नोन ॲज दी मॅक्झिमम थेरॉटिकल इफिशियन्सी दॅट इज नीटामॅक्स सो वी विल फर्स्ट राईट व्हॉट इज द फॉर्म्युला फॉर दिस नीटामॅक्स दॅट मीन्स फॉ व्हॉट इज द कोइफिशंट ऑफ पॉवर सो कोइफिशंट ऑफ पॉवर इज इक्वल टू दिस मॅक्झिमम पॉवर डिवायडेड बाय दी टोटल पॉवर अवेलेबल इन द विंड दॅट इज पी टोटल सो वी हॅव टू राईट हिअर P max by P total. So, what is the P max? So, from the given data here, it is 0.62 P max for this turbine. So, here we have to write here 0.62 for this P max. That is the bed's limit and bed's limit that is P max. So, we have to multiply here with 0.62 because the efficiency or the uh, efficiency maximum theoretical efficiency or coefficient of power is 0.62 times of this bed's limit so now we will put the formula so what is the fo- formula for this maximum power that is 8 by 27 gc rho a v i q and what is the total power available in the wind that is 1 by 2 gc rho a v i q So if we observe this rho a v i terms are getting cancelled this g c g c term is also getting cancelled so what remains here that is 8 by 27 divided by 1 by 2 so after s- simplification we will write here 16 by 27 and here we have to multiply with 0.62 so when we multiply this with 0.62 that is 0.62 multiplied by 16 by 27 that means 0.59 and what is the multiplication that is 0.3658 so we can convert this into the percentage by multiplying with 100 and that is equal to 37% so this is the coefficient of power now we will move for the fifth question for the calculation of coefficient of power so first i will read what is the given problem Wind turbine produces 1000 watts at a certain wind speed. Theoretical power in wind at this speed is 3900 watts. What is the coefficient of power for this turbine? So this was the given question. Now we will understand what is the given data. So if we observe wind turbine produces power is equal to 1000 watts and power in the wind 3900 watts. so this is the given data at a certain wind speed now if we observe what is this 1000 watt that is the power that can be converted by the wind turbine from the wind power and what is the wind power in the wind that is 3900 watts and we have to find out what is the coefficient of power so what is the formula for the coefficient of power so coefficient of power is p max by p total so what is the p max that is the maximum power that can be converted from the wind by this wind turbine and that is given 1000 watts and what is the p total that is the total power in the incoming wind and that is power in the wind 3900 watts so we have to take here 1000 by 3 3900 after calculation it is equal to 0.26 and we can convert it into the percentage that is 0.26 into 100 that is equal to 26% and this is the answer now we will move for the sixth question first i will read what is the given problem wind turbine has three blades that are 1 meter long each you live at sea level so air density 1.23 kg per meter cube wind is blowing at 12 meter per second what is the theoretical power output in this wind you hook your turbine up to multimeter and find that it is pumping out 392 watts calculate coefficient of power for the turbine so this was the given question so let us first understand what is the given data so if we observe the number of blades that is 3 length of the blade 1 meter air density 1.23 kg per meter cube wind velocity 12 meter per second and 
the turbine that is pumping out 392 watts so this is the given data and we have to find out what is the power output from the wind and the coefficient of power so first we will understand what is the power output from the wind so power output from the wind that means what is the total power in the wind so what is the total power that is p total is equal to 1 by 2 gc rho a v cube now here we have to calculate what is the area a now in the given data length of blade that is 1 meter is given so the length of blade that is getting rotated and it will act as a radius r for that circular area so what is the formula to calculate area so here we can say length of blade that is l which is equal to r which is equal to 1 meter and a is equal to pi into r square so here pi that is 3.14 multiplied by 1 square that is equal to 3.14 we have to take here as it is so now we will put here the value 1 upon 2 gc that is the conversion factor that is 1 kilogram then rho density 1.23 multiplied by area a 3.14 into v cube that is the velocity 12 cube so when we solve this we will get the answer that is 3336 3, 3, watt so this is the answer that is the p total or we can say total power in the wind now we have to find out what is the coefficient of power so what is the coefficient of power that is the p max divided by p total so what is this maximum power that is p max that is the total energy that can be converted by the wind turbine so here the turbine is pumping 392 watts that means the conversion of the wind power from this turbine is or by this turbine is 392 watts so we can take here this value as a p max and what is the p total that we have calculated here that is the total energy in the wind so here is the p total so now we will put the value 392 divided by 3336 and which is equal to 0.1175 so we can also that 0.12 and we will convert this into the percentage that is 0.12 multiplied by 100 which is equal to 12% and this is the answer